Every decision that you make each day will directly influence your future. And this is so important because I want to tell you how I wound up standing in this place today. So last summer, I knew that I really wanted to make this uh, career transition and I thought Frisco would be an area that I really wanted to work in. So I told myself, I got to start going to meetups in the Frisco area, doing as much as I can in that area to meet people in the tech community. So one of the meetups was at eight in the morning and that was early to me at that time. I get up a lot earlier now, but that was early and I was like, I don't know if I really feel like going. It wasn't that many people that were uh, RSVP to it. It was a Frisco Open Coffee Club. But I said, you know what, I really want this. Skip it, I don't care how I feel, I'm gonna do it. So I go to the, I go there, I get in there. It's just a few people at a round table they don't look like me, uh, a different age range. And I'm like, man, let's just do it. So I sit down. So we go around the table, everybody introduces themselves. And the last person that introduces himself says, hey, my name is Mike and I work at Call em All. I said, cause the day before I just applied to the Call em All internship, this is last summer. So the whole time, I, can't, I don't know if I ever told you this, I couldn't focus the whole time because I'm thinking, I gotta talk to that man. So I'm just waiting for this thing to end. Like, I don't even know what they talked about. I think cryptocurrency or something. So he gets up and he starts to walk out before it ends. I'm like, oh no. So I kind of got up, trying not to be creepy. And I'm just kind of speed walking like, let me just say hi. So I introduced myself. Mike is so cool. Anybody that's talked to him though, he'll talk to anybody. We started talking about music, Snarky Puppy, one of our favorite bands, all kinds of stuff. And I just kind of told him what I was trying to do. And he told me his story that he went to a boot camp and he kind of explained what that experience was like and he explained how he got to call them all. And he was saying, usually they only uh, hire CS grads, but he's saying go for it anyway. So, you know, so I had applied for that. I didn't get it at the time, but I still went for it. But because I went to that meetup, that started a relationship rapport between us. I continued to go to the React JS meetups and keep in touch with them, uh, comment on stuff that he put on Twitter. And we had this rapport that we had built. So when I was coming out of Dev Mountain, I finished in January, they were posting again. And I was thinking, you know, I'm gonna go for it again, even though I applied and didn't get it, I'm gonna go for it again. So I don't know, only he could tell you what all got me into Call Em All, but I do know that it had something to do with us, me at least, knowing somebody personally on the inside and him knowing that I was really passionate about this and this is you know I'm consistent passionate really wanted it so just think about when you do see an opportunity you've got to light that fire and try to do things that nobody else is doing and that's what led to me writing articles I wanted to separate myself and raise my visibility so just always keep that in mind because it's hard out here anybody that's been through this job hunt knows it's hard out here so just a little bit uh, for you to take home with you